we are at the optimization techniques and under the heading we are going to deal gradient projection method gradient projection method which comes under the heading unconstrained optimization unconstrained optimization you know what unconstrained optimization is which means this method in this method we don't have any constraints over here which means we will be having only the objective function only the objective function and some initial point and some initial point and then the initial point xj okay so we will be having only the function what is this method useful for uh, suppose if you are given a function and we seek to find some maximum or minimum value of a function so uh, this method is used to obtain maximum or minimum value of a function okay minimum value of a function so here um, after some derivation uh, we are having in our hand the value of mi mi is actually uh, plus or minus do y by do x i divided by sigma i equal to square root of sigma i equal to 1 to n do y by do x i the whole square after some derivation we are having this in our hand okay we are going to deal with a problem of gradient projection method now in this video okay so here what is this plus or minus stands for the positive sign gives the move in which y increases and the negative sign gives the move in which y decreases okay so moving on to the problem consider the problem of steepest descent that the function b y of x is equal to we have a function over there and find the minimum point given an initial solution 0 0 so we are asked to find the minimum value of this function okay given a function the solution is given the function f of x is equal to uh, it's y of x over there y of x is equal to um x1 minus 4 the whole square plus x2 square is here okay so what um what is the thing we need to do first that is we have to find we have to write the initial point as x1 this is how we have to write x to the bracket of 1 which is x1 is equal to 0 0 is what we are given there in the question and what is x2 x2 is actually there is a formula for that which is x1 plus s into mi where this mi stands for this one okay the formula mi is equal to this formula but here mi is equal to here mi equal to minus dou y by dou xi divided by root of sigma equal to 1 to n dou y by dou xi the whole square why we put minus here because this is a minimization problem which means we have to find a minimum value right so we have put the minus sign here okay first of all we have to find dou y by dou x1 because this is i i stands for here one and two two variables are there right so we have to find dou y by dou x1 then dou y by dou x2 then what else is remaining the formula dou y by dou y by dou x1 square is there dou y by dou x2 square is there sorry dou, dou square y by dou x1 square then dou square y by dou x2 square is there then what else is remaining another one is dou square y by dou x1 dou x2 which is the same as dou square y by dou x2 dou x1 okay so we are going to find all these things now dou y by dou x1 is what just see the function here as we can see that, that is 2 into x1 minus 4 then dou y by dou x2 is 2 x2 dou square y by dou x1 square is see the function here dou square y by dou x1 square see here it is 2 and dou square y by dou x2 square means see here it's 2 also here okay and this one is 0 because uh, derivative of a constant is 0 of course right so we have these things all now we are going to find m1 at the point 0 0 then we have to find m2 at the point 0 0 okay m1 at the point 0 0 what is that just write the formula dou y by dou x1 divided by dou y by dou x1 the whole square plus dou y by dou x2 the whole square because we are having two functions over here square root of it's under the square root okay 
is equal to just substitute everything what we have found over here which is minus 2 into 0 minus 4 divided by root of minus 8 the whole square plus 0 equals 8 by 8 equals 1 okay so m2 which is the formula is the same only difference is minus do y by do x2 divided by root of do y by do x2 the whole square plus sorry do y by do x1 the whole square the denominator is same okay do y by do x2 the whole square only the numerator changes okay is equal to it's 0 divided by root of 64 it's root of 64 is equal to 0 of course okay so now substitute these things in x2 okay so what is x2 x2 is actually x1 plus s into mi as we have already seen what is x1 that's 0 0 plus what is s we don't know s so just put the s at is it as it is then what is mi mi is 1 0 right because 1 here 0 here so 1 comma 0 which is which is what s comma 0 so adding the corresponding sides which means here it's s comma 0 so adding corresponding uh, coordinates will give you s comma 0 okay now our aim is to find the value of this s right so just substitute the value of s uh, substitute the value of x2 this is x2 right x2 in y we get y equals what put the value of in the value of x1 instead of x1 put s and instead of x2 in the place of x2 put 0 so what we'll be getting we'll be getting s minus 4 the whole square plus 0 okay so to find the value of s we have to differentiate this with respect to s and equating to 0 which means differentiate this with respect to s and equating to 0 equating to 0 will give you dy by ds equal to 0 implies what is dy by ds over here that is 2 into s minus 4 equals 0 which will give you 2s minus 8 equals 0 which will give you s equals 4 okay so we have found x2 equals to substitute value of s in x2 here over here which is 4 comma 0 so we have found the point x2 so at at x2 at this x2 we have got y of x what is y of x over here that is 0 right so we are done almost but to check just to verify whether this is actually a minimum point or not we are going to consider the hessian matrix we have already studied what is hessian matrix it is h of x is equal to dou square y by dou x1 square dou square y by dou x1 x2 dou square y by dou x2 dou x1 and dou square y by dou x2 square this is a matrix which is called hessian matrix okay so if you substitute all the values we have got over here we'll be getting 2 0 0 2 upon getting upon taking its determinant value we'll be having 4 comma 0 so it is which is actually this the value of h of x is actually a positive definite is positive definite so of course the point what we have got is minimum it's minimum suppose if we have got negative definite over here our point will be maximum one so but here we are having positive definite it's a minimum value so we are proved we are find that we are we have find our minimum point using the method of what gradient projection method okay so this is all for now today so thank you